Hi angels, hi my loves, it's LV Lux Girl back again with another video. So on today's video, I'm so excited. I have a Louis Vuitton collection video for you guys. If that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and keep on watching. At the end of the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel and tell me which bag was your favorite out of my collection. So let me start off by saying that I don't have a lot, well, I have quite a few bags, but it's not a massive collection. It's not a small collection um, that I've acquired over the years. And I still have a couple of things on my wish list as far as what I would like to acquire in the future as far as Louis Vuitton bags go. But collecting is a game of time, you guys. It takes time, especially when you love all the bags, like some of us handbag addicts. And also, a few bags that I had, I no longer have in my collection. And I'll explain maybe one or two of the ones that I no longer have and why. And um, which ones I plan on repurchasing. Because sometimes when you purchase the bags pre-loved, you get some qualities that you want in the bag. And then sometimes you don't. So you might decide to go ahead and sell it and repurchase it again, if that makes sense. And try to get the quality that you want in that bag. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's jump right in. Let's start with my first bag. Okay, so the first bag that I wanna share with you guys is this beauty right here. And this is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM, you guys. This is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM. I have her in the PM size. And once again, as I stated, um, one of the features that I like on this bag why I decided to keep this one in my collection is I'm very satisfied with the amount of patina that this particular bag has. I love the golden honey patina and I love the fact that the bottom of her is clear. I mean, there's a little bit of watermarks there, but nothing terrible, no heavy stains. So I was very satisfied with this one. This one sometimes will be a little crooked and a little wonky when I zip her. Um, but that's something that I can live with. Uh, so yeah, you guys, and what I'm going to do also is if you're, if you want to see any what fits in my bags or any reviews on any of these, please leave a comment down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to do those for you. So this is the first beauty right here, my Louis Vuitton Alma PM. The next bag in my collection, I guess we'll do this one next because it has a similar silhouette. Um, it's a top handle and is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35. I absolutely love her. She's a vintage Speedy 35. So, you know, she has been with me for quite some time. She was around before she even came into my collection and I'm just loving on her even more. Um, what I like about this particular one is she still has this pull tab because sometimes when you get a older vintage speedy 35 it won't still have a pull tab that's very very good like this one so i really like that she still has her original pull tab and yeah i prefer the 35 speedy 35 just because you know based on my size my height for me i do want a 25 at some point in my collection but between the 30 and the 35 i like the 35 better so yeah you guys this is my speedy 35 and i really love this bag in my collection so the next bag that I'll share with you guys is, since we're on Speedies, let's do this one. My Multicolor Speedy, you guys. I absolutely love this bag in my collection. Um, she's a forever piece in my collection. She's not going anywhere. I had this bag once before in a different color scheme and I ended up selling it because I wanted this color scheme. I, when I sold it, I still regretted it because even though it wasn't the original color scheme that I wanted, it was a beautiful bag and I missed it in my collection. So I said, I have to get it back. I have to get it back. And I ended up finding this baby and she's in really, really good, great condition. Um, I'm really, really happy with her. So this is my Speedy 30 in the Multicolor Noir, the Speedy Multicolor Murakami. Um, one thing about mine, it doesn't have the clochette. The Speedy Multicolors will come with the clochette with the keys. I have a key for this bag, but I don't have the clochette. Initially, I thought like with my first one, um, you know, is that gonna bother me? Is that not gonna bother me? For me, it ended up being a point where I decided to say, you know, I could live with it. I settled in and resolved it in my own mind. I was like, I could live with that. The fact that it doesn't have the cliche. I still have the key. If I want to, I can lock it or open it. I just don't have a cliche. And I have looked for a cliche on the pre-loved market, but they're very hard to come by. And when you do run across them, they're quite expensive. So for me right now, I'm just happy to have this beauty back in my collection. The colors on her are amazing. 
So I'm absolutely happy with her. And um, I love the fact that she has that dark blue and the two very bright print pink colors right there. Um, so yeah, my Speedy, thir Speedy 30 in the Multicolor Noir Marikami. Absolutely love this baby in my collection. Okay, next bag I guess we could talk about is this baby right here, my Louis Vuitton sack plait. And once again, this is a, a nice piece in my collection. I really, really enjoy her in my collection. I do have this little keychain on her right now. However, most of the time when I wear this piece, I don't wear her with a keychain or anything because I like using her professionally. Like if you go to an interview or a business meeting, um, this is just a really nice bag to carry with you. Uh, of course, sometimes, you know, if you go to something like an interview or a business meeting, sometimes you want to be a little bit more um, laid back, not laid back, but sometimes you don't want to be so much with a monogram designer bag in their face. So sometimes, you know, you might choose an all black bag or something else. But if you do, once you're at your place of employment and you're working, you're settled in and you have a business meeting, then this would be a great bag to carry in the business meeting. You guys, so I absolutely love the sack plaid. Two things that I want to say about the sack plaid when purchasing her pre-loved. Two things that I found when I was looking for her on the pre-loved market. One thing is the corners. A lot of times, some of the ones when you buy them pre-loved will have not so good. They'll have, you know, not so good corners. I wanted to make sure I had one with good corners as well as the interior. Sometimes we'll have that common Louis Vuitton peeling residue, sticky residue. Um, mine has a little bit of that, but I ended up just getting getting a uh, insert for her, which helps me with that, you know, so that it doesn't go ahead and bother the items that I put inside the bag. Okay, let me go ahead and move these out the way so I don't know which ones I talked about already. Okay. Next bag that we can talk about is this baby right here. And this is my Louis Vuitton bucket bag. And this is the Bucket GM. So she's the large bucket bag. I absolutely love her in my collection. Once again, just like with the sack plaid, when purchasing this bag pre-loved, you have to make sure that you go ahead and get one with a good interior, um, you know, one that's not peeling. So yeah, you guys, I absolutely love this one in my collection. And I like her strap drop because she, you can just toss her over your shoulder and go. You know, you can just toss her over your shoulder and go. You don't have to fight with putting her on and off your shoulder like with some bags. Her strap is adjustable. So I absolutely love this Louis Vuitton Bucket GM in my collection. And this is what the bottom of her looks like. She comes with the, with the feet. And that's what the bottom of her looks like. And she has the lovely vachetta around the bottom portion of the bag. So yeah, you guys, that is another one of the bags that I like that you can just toss over your shoulder and go. Speaking of toss over your shoulder and go Louis Vuitton bags, that would mean that this baby right here will be next. And that is my Louis Vuitton balloon. I absolutely love her because just like with the Bucket GM, with the balloon, you could just toss her over your shoulder and go. She's a really, really, you know, easy bag to just carry when you're getting ready to head out the door. I also love the Vachetta on this bag because she has really, really beautiful Vachetta leather, beautiful, beautiful corners and edges with, you know, for being a vintage bag and as old as she is, she, she doesn't, she has the normal wear. She's not, you know, overly worn. There's no problems, no holes or anything like that at the corners. So she's in pretty good condition, you guys, for such an old vintage Louis Vuitton bag. So I absolutely love the Louis Vuitton Boulogne bag in my collection. And I believe she's named after a city in Paris, Boulogne. Yeah, you guys. Okay. So the next one that we could talk about in my collection is this baby right here. <laughs> this little cutie right here. I decided to go ahead and pick her up and... That would be this baby right here, the Louis Vuitton Papillon. And I have her in the size 30, which is the largest size of the Papillon bags. 
and I absolutely love her in my collection. Initially, years ago, I didn't used to like this bag, you guys. I really didn't used to like this bag, and then all of a sudden, she grew on me, and I was like, that shape, that silhouette is so, so cute, you guys. And you can carry her top handle, you can carry her on the crook of your arm, or you could go ahead and toss her over your arm like that as well and carry her, you guys. So this is the size 30. She has a pretty good strap drop. It's not as long as some of the others, um, but it can go over your shoulder. You know, I, I don't really enjoy wearing it this way. For the most part, I carry it in the crook of my arm or I carry it top handle. I really enjoy carrying it top handle down low like that. I think it's just so, so cute. And this is the Papillon in the size 30, you guys. Okay, the next bag that I'll talk about is this baby right here. And this is the Louis Vuitton Ministry Clutch. I absolutely love this bag in my collection, much like the sack plaque, like I was explaining. With this particular one, I find that, you know, it's really comfortable to go ahead and take this into, um, into a business meeting, um, like I stated. I probably wouldn't take it on an interview because like I said, I'm not trying to be overstated in the interview, but um, I probably would just take a plain all black portfolio. But once you get settled in your job or your place of employment, then you know, I, I'm more relaxed and I would go ahead and carry my portfolio. Um, you know, in my past jobs, I've been able to use this in a business meeting, you know, um, at work and it can carry, it can fit a laptop, it can fit a tablet, it can fit an iPad, you can fit notebooks in here, folders, everything. It's a very, very useful uh, portfolio. It's a very, very useful, uh, they, what do they call it? It's a ministry clutch, but it's also a good document holder. And the interior of mine is very, very nice. It does show a little bit of wear right there, but as far as the leather, you get all that delicious leather in there. And the interior pockets of mine is really, really nice. You can see there's no peeling or anything, even in the interior pocket, there's no peeling in there no residue like on some of them. So there's no flaking. So it's a very, very nice document holder, you guys. I absolutely love this piece in my collection and it has a leather tab, a treated leather tab. So it has the older treated leather that you don't have to worry about it. If you get caught in the rain or in the snow, you know, you don't have to worry about water on it. I absolutely love this document holder called the Ministry Clutch in my collection and she has good edges as well. Yeah, you guys, so that's the Louis Vuitton document clutch called the Ministry Clutch and I absolutely love this piece in my collection. The next bag that I wanna talk about in my Louis Vuitton collection is this baby right here and this is the Louis Vuitton Monseo. I absolutely love this bag in my collection. The Louis Vuitton Monseo, I decided to go ahead and pick up the Louis Vuitton Monseo when the Pochette Matisse became so, so popular. The Pochette Matisse became so, so popular and I didn't really wanna spend quite that much. Not that this little baby right here wasn't a good little penny because it was, but I'm just saying it's not, it wasn't as much, it was more affordable for me than the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And it's just as beautiful a bag in my opinion. Um, I absolutely love her. I love the treated leather. The one that I picked up, like I stated in some of my other videos, I wanted to make sure that I got her in really, really beautiful condition as far as the corners and the edges go. When buying pre-loved from Japan sellers, I always try to get a pretty, pretty good condition bag. So I absolutely love this ministry clutch in my collection. Not ministry clutch. That was the ministry clutch right here. I absolutely love the Monseo in my collection. And I also have the key for her for the S lock and the key for her and the key for the Speedy are interchangeable S lock keys. So they will operate and work and open and close either one of the two bags, my Monseo or my Multicolor Speedy Noir. Also, um, I purchased this bag without the strap. It came with the key, but it didn't have an original strap. And I've since then purchased a replacement strap, which works just as fine. It's a leather re replacement strap. So I absolutely love the Louis Vuitton Monseo in my collection. 
Another thing that I wanted to say about the Louis Vuitton Monsale is this is something that I do, you guys. When Louis Vuitton does, uh, redoes or re does a new version, like a Speedy Nano or a, um, what was the other one? The Sac Plat. Like when Louis Vuitton redid the Sac Plat Petite, I like to try to go ahead and pick up the vintage version of the original bag because once they redo it, the prices of the vintage ones always seem to skyrocket and go higher and they become harder to find. This is That's just something that I noticed. So when they did the Sac Plat Petite, I ended up picking up my sack plat because I knew the prices of that in my opinion, in my opinion, were going to go up higher. Maybe not. Maybe somebody else doesn't think so. But in my opinion, the prices do go up higher. Also, when the uh, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse came out, nowadays the Mon sales prices have skyrocketed, um, I think, as a result of that. So I tried to go ahead and pick up the Mon sale, and that's just a tip and something that I'm going to do, you know, whenever I know Louis Vuitton is going to do a similar version of a vintage bag. I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up the vintage version, you guys, while it's still affordable before it skyrockets. So yeah, you guys, this is the Monseil, and the Monseil is named after a park in Paris. So this is the Louis Vuitton Monseil, and I enjoy her in my collection as well. Okay, the next bag that I wanted to talk about is two travel pieces that I have in my Louis Vuitton collection. And the first one is going to be this baby right here. And this is my, I didn't know it was going to take up so much of the frame, but this is my Louis Vuitton Keep All Duffel 45. And I have her in the bandolier that, with the strap. So I have the bandolier version because I decided that, you know, you guys know they come as just a regular keep all duffel or they come as the bandolier and the bandolier version is the one that has the strap, which makes it very comfortable because once the bags start getting larger than 35, once they start getting into the 45s and the 50 and the 55 and the 60, they start getting really heavy, you guys, when you put your clothing and your items in there. So I decided for me, when I got the 45, I wanted the bandolier version so that I could go ahead and toss her over my shoulder with the strap. And I should have a strap in here for her, and I do. And this was a replacement strap that I purchased for her, and it is all Vachetta leather. And I like it because the Vachetta matches the Vachetta on my particular bag very well. So this is my Keep All Duffel 45 in the bandolier version. Also, I wanted to say that the 45 version, in my opinion, is good as a overnight bag. It's a very good overnight bag. It's not a very good bag for a weekend trip or a weekend getaway, um, but for just an overnight bag, you'll be able to carry a, a, an extra outfit, a pair of shoes or something else in here. Um, and the next one that I have that I'm gonna talk about, that brings us to the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50, which in my opinion is good as a weekend bag. This one is larger and I'm sure this is going to take up even more of the frame. This is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50 and this is an excellent travel bag because this bag, I feel like I disappeared on you guys. This bag is an excellent overnight bag, it's an ex excellent weekend bag, and it's an excellent travel bag. Because it's the 50 size, it's bigger than the 45, and it can hold a lot more, you guys. I think if I was to do it again, instead of getting the 45 and the 50, like I have right here, this is the 45, this is the 50, I would have gotten the, maybe the 50 and the 60, but that's pretty big. So maybe the 45, I don't know. I'm happy right now with these two because the 45, sometimes that's all you need is just an overnight bag. So the 45 is nice and the 50 is good for a weekend or a longer trip, a longer getaway, you guys. She's a beauty. She's the bandolier as well that comes with the strap. And I did get the strap with this one as well as a luggage tag with this one and a lock with this one. Um, I have a lock with that one as well. So yeah, you guys, this is the Louis Vuitton Bandolier Keep All 50. And I enjoy this bag in my collection very much. 
And I believe that's everything, you guys. I don't think I left anything out. So thank you for sticking it out with me for yet another video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. And I'll see you again soon in another video. If you have any of the bags that you'd like to see or what fits in my bag or a comparison, please leave that in the comment section below. And thank you for joining me for this video. And I'll see you again soon in another video.